Hi, this is Alex from Guji Starlight. Um, I've just installed the Cyanogen Mod 10 Preview for Gal uh, Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300. And uh, what I thought I'd do is show you um, a little bit of it. Um, so this is obviously based on Android 4.1.1 Jelly Bean, I believe. Um, so let's have a look. So this is the new Jelly Bean lock screen. You can go, you can slide to the uh, right to uh, unlock the device, up to go to Google Now, and to the left to go to camera. Uh, one thing about this version is the camera uh, doesn't seem to really be working. It can take a few photos, but then it seems to just crash. Uh, either crash the program or crash the device itself, uh, requiring a reboot. So I'm not going to use the uh, camera in this video. Uh, so we let's slide up to go to Google Now. Uh, Google Now is fully functional. Uh, it's currently in uh, American English. So it's 54 degrees uh, um, Fahrenheit. Uh, so let's try the uh, um, voice search. Who is the President of America? The President of the United States of America is Barack Obama. What's the weather like in Melbourne? Okay, that didn't work. What is the weather like in Melbourne? Okay. Let's put this in, uh, back into Australian English. Might work a little bit better. Uh, so this by the, uh, will go to the about phone while we're here. So it is this is model number GTI ninety three hundred Android version four point one point one. Uh, this is the uh, Easter egg. So that's that. Um, so this is the uh, home screen. Uh, we'll, we'll get back to that. What is the weather like in Melbourne? It's 54 degrees and partly cloudy in Melbourne. Here's the forecast for the next few days. Okay. What's it like? What's the weather like in New York? It's 87 degrees and clear in New York. Here's the forecast for the next few days. Gee, so it's pretty warm in New York, 87 degrees. Uh, forecast of 95. That is genuinely very, very warm. Um, Will I need a raincoat tomorrow? No, rain is not expected tomorrow in Victoria. So as you the can forecast for tomorrow is 61 degrees and mostly sunny. So as you can see, phenomenally, phenomenally quick. Uh, much, much quicker than uh, Siri or S voice. And I think uh, the results actually look you know, better than certainly S voice and uh, I think Siri as well. Um, Will I need a raincoat in New York tomorrow? No, that's not what we wanted. Will I need a, a raincoat in New York tomorrow? Okay, so I didn't get that. Will I need a raincoat in New York tomorrow? Yes, rain is expected tomorrow in New York. So, got that finally. Uh, it was a bit more of a complex uh, sentence. Um, but as you can see, it's incredibly quick at getting resu uh, results. I think for the first time, it's probably quicker if you're looking for uh, just the fact or maybe the weather or something like that to actually go into the voice, uh, the voice search rather than go and look it up yourself. Um, and that, I think, is a real breakthrough for uh, voice recognition and voice uh, voice assistance for smartphones and tablets, for that matter.
Um, let's try something else. What year was Teddy Roosevelt born? Theodore Roosevelt was born in 1858. So very good. Uh, it gets you uh, what you want, you know. Let's say 80-85% 80, of the time uh, compared to S voice, which in my experience on this phone was kind of maybe 60-65% of the time. So it's a lot more accurate and it's a hell of a lot quicker. Uh, it's pretty much instant, uh, assuming it understands you. So, we'll get out of that. Um, let's go back home. Uh, the home screen, as you can see, is fairly similar to ice cream sandwich just got a new wallpaper um, but it, this thing does feature project butter uh, which makes everything a lot smoother uh, not that the S3 was lacking in that department in the first place but it's still nice to experience uh, it's very it seems very quick to me um, This is the obviously the new notification tray, um, so it's a bit different to what it was before. You got the time up there, 3:09 Wednesday, 18th of July, 2012. You can go to your settings pane, um, and I've downloaded the um, a battery indicator um, program, so we we'll just get the indicator up there because by default. Uh, stock Android does not include that, uh, unfortunately. Um, that's about it. Um, the only thing that doesn't seem to be working is the camera. Um, but hopefully in the next few days maybe a build will be released uh, that's, that actually has the camera working. Um, but so far as I say, uh, really good. Uh, it's really smooth. Uh, we'll go into browser and we'll open up the age it doesn't seem to really be any problems at all with loading loading web pages even of this size let's go to uh, Engadget Engadget And we'll go to the um, desktop version. So really quite quick. Um, and it does seem to feel a lot smoother. Um, just a lot more intuitive, I think, than um, than previous uh, builds of Android. Um, pinch to zoom is really smooth uh, scrolling is really good this is uh, Chrome Google Chrome we'll have a look at the stock browser um, let's go to uh, Engadget again uh, Engadget And we'll go down to um, desktop, and we can turn it into we can turn it to landscape mode. If anything, I think this is even better. Um, yeah, this is definitely a lot smoother, and it seems to load the page up a bit quicker than um, Google Chrome did. Uh, so it's incredibly quick um, uh, doing web browsing uh, messaging and calls uh, work um, which is probably the most important thing um, as you can see it's got the, the standard um, CIT off animation that stock Android has that uh, Samsung did away with um, 
YouTube works fine. Uh, we'll go to one of my uploads. Let's try that again. And turn it landscape. So video playback works fine. Anyway, that's enough of that. Um, yeah, highly recommended uh, if you have a uh, a rooted Samsung Galaxy S3 i9300 or i9300T um, really smooth, really good so far the only thing that doesn't work is the camera but hopefully that will change uh, in a few days or maybe even by the time you watch this video there might be a version uh, with the camera that works um, so yeah, highly recommended uh, you first need to download a uh, CM Nine and flash that onto your device using uh, CWM or your favorite uh, custom recovery um, but after that uh, it's just the wipe data and wipe cache and I did a wipe Dolvik cache um, just in case and it should work um, so hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching